Nah, Deb, I ain't hosting an ugly Christmas sweater party. Cause I'm already hosting an ugly sister-in-law party. Spoiler alert, Linda wins. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis. Are the Steelers gonna unleash hell this December? There, there ain't even no hell near or around that team right now. What's that place that's like between heaven and hell? Jagatory. They can unleash Jagatory all December. Chase Claypool wants the Steelers to start playing music during practice. Well, we know Chase Claypool's favorite song. I get knocked down. I don't get up again. And I roll around on the grind. By that, uh, that chumber wumber. Has our offense even been on the field for like 30 seconds? You can fit our whole first half of offensive plays in a single TikTok video. You're making Ben and the receivers just sit around doing nothing? They could actually run errands during this game. Hey, where's Big Ben at? Uh, he ran down a post office in John Eagles. But don't worry, he's gonna be back in plenty of time. Watch Ravens convert another third and 27. TJ Watt got COVID. The doctor prescribed no rest and three and a half sacks of Lamar. Uh, Tony Romo took his jacket off. Jacket off? Jag off. That's a touchdown! Deontay Johnson making up for that drop touchdown he had early in the game. You know what? Nah, -uh, ain't enough. He gotta make up for Ebron's and Dante Moncrief's drops too. He, he's got his work cut out for him. Where is Boss kicking that ball? What is he aiming for the three River Stadium goalposts? Ben is so good in the fourth quarter. They ought to just tell him it's the fourth quarter the entire game. Old people believe anything you tell them. Trust me. I got one time I told great grandma I was taking her to Mexico. Really just went through the Taco Bell drive through I got a double gordita crunch. She might as well have been a spring break at Cancun. Oh man, you let him march right down the field, get the touchdown. Whoop. Now they're gonna tie it up. Oh geez, wait, are they going for two? What kind of decision is this? This is the game. This is the game, this is my life. Here's the whole season right here. Here's the whole season. Throw, bubble, he dropped it, he dropped it. I don't even know how to celebrate this. I, I, I need something. I need a Charlie Batch to hug. Every house in Pittsburgh needs a Charlie Batch behind glass. It says, break in case of emotional win over the Ravens. And then you just embrace them for a minimal 10 minutes. Or you know, whatever, whatever he's comfortable with. You can do whatever you want, actually, it's your batch. I tell ya, nothing says Christmas like John Harbaugh throwing a clipboard. Three, two, one. Hey, Tom! Ah, don't, don't you even think about hanging up, Tom. You hang up, and I'm gonna be on your line all damn day. Oh, I ain't a robocall. Robocall got better things to do than call you, starting with catching Ray Lewis. Yeah, old Pappy Ben did it to you again. Handed you some Werther's Originals and your fourth L. Only one Harbaugh gets a big win each month. And his idiot brother already used that up. God's gotta bounce them Harbaugh's at. John Harbaugh is just like Lay's potato chips. He just can't take one. I'm also going for two. Cases of beer to celebrate that game. Yeah, Lamar Jackson's a great runner. He's great at running right down the playoff season. Yeah, just keep it going, keep it going. Dip, dip, dip. The Steelers ain't out of playoff contention, Tom. They're like uh, a newly divorced cougar down TGI Fridays. We're in the hunt. No, I know we gotta play ins again, but when it comes to wins over the Ravens, we're going for two. Merry Christmas. I don't know, Tom. You know this rivalry between us ain't what it used to be? You ain't getting as mad these days. I don't like it. Remember when we used to beachins back in the day and, and I'd call you so much that you'd have to change your phone number and I'd have to go all the way down to the phone company and, and bribe the guy with Deb's brogies to give me your new number. Then to try to get away from me, you'd go stay in a hotel and I'd come down there and pull a fire alarm. And then you'd put your house on the market and you'd get a buyer but they'd pull out the last minute because I told them about the mold in your basement. Let's get back to them good old days, Tom.